Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we have a reading for Cancer. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. We have disconnect and bored. You're no longer bored here. You want to triumph here. What do we have? You're getting some type of courage to come. Oh, your base chakra is still closed though. So let's see what else is going on here for Cancer. Obstacles and challenges are in the reverse. So things are getting cleared out of your way here. Yeah, there's going to be a truth. Okay, so maybe you are, um, are needing to say a truth or someone is supposed to say some truth to you. Yeah, accelerated motion. So you're wanting to get moving on something here. Recognition and reward is in reverse though, because I feel like you're maybe procrastinating a little here. You're not sure what decision you need to be making when it comes to something here. Yeah, to do with the relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. And I feel like that's, yeah, you might have to sacrifice something here. And relationships can be um, needing to sacrifice something for a relationship by compromising. So there's authority here. So you may have a higher up here or, okay, so something hasn't changed quite yet. Yeah, but whatever was tempting you is in reverse. So you may be starting to see somebody for their true colors. Yeah, you're no longer willing to be showing any empathy towards this person. I feel like you, they may be playing on your heartstrings. Wow, you have destiny in the upright here. That's beautiful. So you may be heading towards your, by by changing something here or not changing something here what do we have truth accelerated motion on about a relationship maybe sacrificing authority though hmm this may be your faith you haven't changed your faith you're no longer tempted about somebody that's trying to be um, play on your empathy or your uh, boo-hoo, I'm, I'm going through this, you know, can you help me, can you help me? And I feel like you're realizing somebody's just playing you. What do we got? Yeah, balance. I, re I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do it without judgment and maybe you're trying not to judge these people but when it comes to this person what do we got okay so you're there's a waiting game and I feel like you're not waiting any longer because it's in reverse so what else do we have here for the last card oh we get a twofer so I feel like maybe you've been taking the time and resting and rejuvenating and this is how you're seeing but love begins in reverse so this maybe hasn't happened yet when it comes to this love union and I feel like it is to do with love and relationship here so and destiny you're finding the courage about this relationship that you're destined to have there's triumph coming forward I feel um, you haven't been recognized or rewarded for maybe maybe something to do with spirituality here you're no longer going to empathize with somebody here you're not going to be tempted and you're moving forward you're no longer maybe bored or disconnecting feeling disconnected from everyone. I feel like you felt like you were all alone here. Your base chakra is blocked though, so you may need, be, may need to get some clearance. Yeah, you're feeling loneliness here. Oops. Yeah, there's loneliness here. 
on this base chakra, so that might be why it's um, blocked, and maybe you're stepping out to have that um, loneliness fulfilled just by uh, physical. So, but I feel like you're, these temptations aren't, it's not fulfilling you. I feel like um, whatever challenges and stuff is starting to uh, dissipate here, starting to change. You may be getting enlightened about a few things here and you're no longer wanting to wait when it comes to some type of truth that you've been maybe denying yourself with change in reverse. Maybe it's having to do with maybe not facing your own truth about somebody, that you're kind of denying your own truth. You're kind of lying to yourself and I feel like by lying to yourself, that's got to be the one greatest um, problem here that may be blocking you from where this love may begin because it's in reverse. And I feel like by you taking the time out, resting, rejuvenating, you are going to find your answer here. Hmm. You're going to birth something new here, I feel like. Um, fertility. This is with an empress, I feel, with the fertility here. That's empress energy. Maybe birthing something new when it comes to love. So let's do the... What is it? The Intuit Oracle. What's the disconnect and board in reverse, please? What's the disconnect and board in reverse? Ooh. Okay, so ball and chain. So you may be feeling weighed down, codependent or trapped, restricted. Maybe you're married here. And then it says here, the grasshopper, you're wanting to take some type of leap of faith, moving on, a change in direction. What's the triumph here? You want to triumph over love, romance, and affection. Roses, maybe bringing in flowers to this person that you've been denying yourself about. There's high emotional IQ, gifts, a friendship, infatuated, enchanted, passion, wow, yearning, that's courage, yeah, you're defensive and protecting yourself when it comes to standing up for yourself, you're getting the courage to do that, you're warding off unwanted energies, you're being on guard, What's the loneliness and the base chakra in reverse? Transformation and change here. <laughs> Renewing something. You may be restless, wanting to move something forward here. <laughs> this is the um, obstacles and challenges in reverse having to do with soulmate, lover union, dating, attraction. Two of a kind, alluring, je ne sais quoi. I hope I said that right. <laughs> That's Pisces energy, Aries energy, Pisces again. Let's see, what else do we get here? We have waterfall, overflowing abundance about truth. And by doing this, your abundance is going to come in by speaking your truth to someone or speaking the truth to yourself okay this is fulfillment chasing after something here emotional release tears of sorrow or joy wow so this is going to make you very happy once you clear that up and realize what the truth may be here we have Milky Way, networking, social media. So maybe this person has their own channel or is um, on social media and you're watching them through the internet. It says spotlight, connected. Yeah, networking, marketing, publicity. 
And this is accelerated motion. It's possible this person that you're loving or wanting to tell some truth to may be doing well for themselves. They're accelerating. And this may be something that you um, wouldn't mind doing with them. Let's see here, because it is the number two, right? And that's balance, partnership, and duality. What's the recognition and reward in reverse? Mm, resources, finances, investments, money, income. So resources, or recognition and reward is in reverse. So this may not have come yet. This may be, it says large quantity. So of money, finances, and resources, pro prosperous. So by, by having this truth to yourself or the truth to this person, your whatever recognition and reward that you're meant to have is going to come in for you with finances and investments and prosperity and money and income. And it's gonna have something to do with social media I feel like it has to do with your person and maybe they've already started a channel or they're doing something online. What's this relationship here? Mm, a vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfort, leisure, good health, balance, wishes are coming true. And wow, and this is falling on the relationship card that I have here. What is the sacrifice here? Oh, I got a twofer. Ah, sacrifice. You may have to uh, end something with somebody here. A dear John, a rejection, a cold hard truth that maybe you haven't been facing yourself here. A divorce. Um, it's not you, it's me. The end. Final word. Cutting cords. Something is not working here. And you may have to sacrifice somebody else to go to what you truly want. Maybe you've settled with somebody and there's someone else you're truly desiring to be with and maybe now they are single let's see we have happy harmony beauty creative reconciliation with love openness expressive warm and gratitude so i feel like you're going from an ending here you're sacrificing something here in order to get a reconciliation with someone else here what is the authority here? And with the authority card, they have the halo on them. And let's see, yeah, a sudden unexpected, um, a breakdown or an ending here, a broom, a, a storm brewing, a torn up, it's a tornado here on authority. So, wow. This is something very unexpected. Maybe this person turns on you that you are breaking up from. And uh, maybe you weren't expecting that from this person. Change is in reverse. So there may be some type of solution or clarity here. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> You're seeing something that you weren't seeing before. It's just pay attention. So this is key so this is something that's meant for you to see what's the temptation i feel like you're no longer tempted by this person because they're really showing their true colors and i keep getting this song um i don't remember how it goes it's sex baby it's about you and me and all the good things and the bad things that could be let's talk about sex and I feel like that is that temptation there. Yeah, chocolates. <laughs> Satisfaction, perfection, romance, treating yourself. So this is this is having to do with um, just taking <laughs> self-indulgence, I wanna say. So what's the empathy in reverse? Yeah, union of opposites, something that's conf masked or concealed here with the empathy okay transformation so I feel like this person is going to help you see something that's going to be revealed you know you're not no longer um, 
showing your empathy towards this person and it's pissing them off and maybe that was how they would reel you back before and now there's sudden darkness here and revealing um, something that was camouflaged oh, and they want to overshadow you somehow there's something concealed an event yeah a merging of something here Aries Libra what else did we have here is that it yeah what's destiny here Ooh, got a twofer again okay destiny memories remembering this is someone from your past a clever problem solver observant this person you may be having memories about they kind of have a mystery a magical power there's a new event or happening here there's a solution somebody has a solution here for you with 22 is a master number here oh and church <laughs> marriage collective consciousness tradition principle religion family values structure so there may be somebody here maybe this person is very structured and believes in marriage family values you're remembering about this person how clever and there's something about them here and they're balanced or you are what's the crosses destiny spirituality divine guidance and i feel like you may be balancing out your energy or this person has that you are connecting with there may be some type of emotional loss they're going through it's possible now they're balancing that out maybe they're grieving over a loved one it's a sorrow trials necess necessity so this was a necessity for you to walk away from this person I feel like you're divinely guided here to go towards something more balanced or someone more balanced the waiting game you're tired of waiting or this person is tired of waiting for something here what is it they're waiting for oh okay the waiting game is over but there is some type of okay yes backstabbing toxic betrayal jealousy and deception here and you're no longer waiting around for this type of behavior and this might be this person you walked away from they may be trying to come back into your energy because you're not waiting any longer maybe you're moving forward and they don't like that love begins in reverse here and rest and rejuvenation so yeah this is somebody that maybe you were friends with there was um they were very um innocent childlike maybe you knew them from childhood this person you revisit the past about a loving life somebody that is kind of like no worries and kind of um happy-go-lucky kind and new beginnings here with this childhood person with your rest and rejuvenate this might be somebody you're thinking about Pisces is here again love begins is in reverse why is it in reverse hmm believe in the impossible daydreams romantic endings so it could be that they are fantasizing about you happily ever 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 after and they, that may be how they see you or you see them there's cancer energy here water sign water water um libra is i feel like sword energy yeah and aries is fire we have Pisces is water again Aries is fire Pisces again so they may have a lot of Pisces in their chart that might be their Sun sign that's on the bottom of the deck yeah so 
There may be some ego here, putting on a show or performance, presentation or hidden motive, disguise, concealed. You might be somebody that is, I keep getting this too, um, somebody that is um, a secret admirer of this person, or this person could be somebody that is concealing something here. That might have to do with that truth card. They may be meant to say some type of truth here. Let's do some tarot here. Where's my tarot cards? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. I'm missing any. Oh, there's one. What was that card? <laughs> ten of Cups. This, you may feel like this person is your Ten of Cups here. Let's see. What is the leap of faith that you're wanting to go down? Yeah, you're finding courage here with the Strength card. What's the Roses? Mm. You may have a different perspective you're needing for this love and triumph. In order to triumph for love is having a different perspective when it comes to that. Lovers in reverse. I feel like maybe you have no choice here or you feel there's no choice and when it comes to love. You're defensive when it comes to love. And you, you're trying to get the courage back when it comes to making a choice in love here. What is the tro the historic, the transformation here? Mm. You may not have a lot of hope that this is going to go through here. There's a renew, restless, a change. So a transformation here. And we had loneliness. Yeah, I feel like this is going to change your loneliness. Maybe you're feeling... Um, loss of faith that things are going to change but it does say it will when it comes to a soulmate yeah you're feeling too risky or you're not trusting something here when it comes to a soulmate lovers potential what do we have here courtship dating you, the obstacles are clear here when it comes to this and i feel like you feel it's too risky What's the overflowing abundance, the waterfall? Yeah, there may be something you're not seeing here when it comes to some type of truth. And it could be somebody not telling you the truth. Hmm. Yeah, somebody didn't learn a lesson here when it comes to this person um, that's on this accelerated motion on social media here or in the spotlight. You may, they may feel like you haven't learned your lesson or the lesson you were meant to learn in order to come forward. What's the fish here? Finances, investments. Yeah, there may be a bad judgment call about something to do with family going home. And this is recognition and reward. It could be your family judged you wrong when it comes to making money and maybe they didn't believe that you would be recognized for this or get recognition maybe you're on social media or the person is that you want to get with yeah looks like abundance happy there's some burden here and trying to adapt to some type of relationship Maybe a dark secret that they don't know about. And that's where that truth is. Maybe they're not seeing the truth and it's you that needs to tell it or vice versa. Well, that's too many, please, Spirit. Just one card, thank you. Yeah, somebody's recovering from something here. Reconciliation. Hmm. There. What is this again? Oh, yeah, a rejection. Wanting to reconcile, recovering from this sacrifice that they made. Maybe maybe it's you that sacrificed this person for someone else and it was the wrong choice because the tornado is the next card and authority. And maybe you got in trouble spiritually for this. 
um, a total wreck, a breakdown, over and done with the end. And I feel like this could be the, the ending of whatever this is because there's a solution here and maybe you're meant to find the solution in order to change something here. What's the tornado? Yeah, having boundaries. Somebody needed to find themselves and put boundaries in place here. What is the solution? A queen of pentacles in reverse here. Somebody that is losing money or has bad behaviors here. Um, this may be somebody you are having a romance at work with. This is insight and clarity. And somebody that you're seeing now, maybe they haven't changed or they said they are going to change and they haven't. And this is where that temptation and that indulgence in um, this temptation is. And it's in reverse now. And I feel like you are realizing, yeah, that you're giving your cup to the wrong person. Yeah, there's a new passionate beginning here um, that was concealed from you. Somebody that you're not going to give empathy anymore. They don't want your... This person with this new passionate beginning, they may have... Um, a problem with their physical body maybe they are disabled or has some type of uh, issue here and I feel like this new passionate beginning they don't want your sympathy or your empathy maybe that is why it's in reverse take it however it resonates for you this is a union of opposites here. Something's revealed about something you're supposed to see here. They don't want your charity or your money. Um, they're looking for love, I feel. New passionate love. You may be getting an epiphany about something here. Yeah, somebody's traditional... And they're looking back of memories, remembering something. There was a mystery here. Maybe somebody has observed something here. When it comes to a marriage, that they're unhappy in with the sun card in reverse. They may have gotten an STD by this person, realized they were stepping out. Let's see, what's the destiny and spirituality? Yeah, somebody was stepping out with the Seven of Swords here. And it's, there's a destiny with balance coming up for you. There's an emotional loss, loss, a conviction. It could even be something that was divinely guided, 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 um, Yeah, I feel like you don't need to judge this person. I feel like spirit is um, divinely guiding this person. They're going to, um, I feel like it's spiritual jail here, conviction here, crisis. This is faded. In order to balance something here with the seven of swords and that's shady ass behavior. Yeah, somebody's sad here because there was deception, jealousy, and betrayal, backstabbing. They're no longer waiting for this energy. This could be you or this could be someone else that was waiting for you to come forward. Someone from your childhood that's done the work, who's done the resting and rejuvenating. Or this is something you're going to be doing because you're in that sadness and sorrow. Yeah, this may be a financial opportunity for you or this person. In this fairy tale and love begins, I feel like this is your fairy tale. You're feeling like a wounded warrior though right now. You're needing to heal something. I don't know what that was. Yeah, there's a tower. This is something that's unexpected here. And I feel like it was masked. It was disguised for your protection or their protection. 
Yeah, you feel like you missed an opportunity here. What's on the bottom of the deck? About with working with somebody, this is somebody that's a team player, your teammate, your mate. I feel like it's your person you're meant to work with here in order to make this abundance. Wow. So this is something in disguise. Hidden, motive, persona, projection, ego. This could have been theater. This could have to do with um, a channel or social media. You may have felt this person was wearing a mask because they're in front of a camera, but I'm feeling this person is quite genuine in who they are. They're coming up. I feel like it's someone that is balanced and that is grounded and is spiritual. Maybe even on social media. I'm getting that. Yeah. Let's do the romance angels and see what comes up for that. Retreating. Time to disconnect from the world. And I feel like you're doing that. Um, you might be having memories or wanting to do that with your next person, this person that you're in love with. Honeymoon is here. So this may be somebody, let's see, yeah, reconciliation. You might be thinking about your honeymoon or the days past in retreating and thinking about this person that you had married. Yeah, reconciliation, but I feel like you're having to have faith in this and trust spirit. The situation is calling for you to have faith about this reconciliation. You may feel it's too risky and you may be called in your soulmate something you're not seeing here though mm, there could be true love here this could be your true love somebody didn't learn the lesson though and it's saying give your relationship a chance work on your partnership what's the judgment call in reverse yeah there was deception you made a bad call or a bad judgment call when it came to somebody yeah unrequited love and that is that unhappiness yeah, just wanting wealth, it looks like, possibly, when it comes to a relationship. Maybe wanting something to balance. But it's unrequited. They don't feel the same way about you. You're recovering from this. And you're meant to keep an open mind here. There's romantic feelings and boundaries you put in place. And let your friends help you. This may be somebody that's in reverse. This may be a karmic that you work with or somebody you worked with in the past. This person that maybe is trying to come up with a solution, but it's not going to change anything. I feel like they're trying maybe to hold you back. What is this cup of love? Playfulness. Temptation. This is just so you maybe recapturing romance and allowing your youth yeah you may have this new passionate beginning um you may be religious and this person may be spiritual or vice versa something's unhappy here yeah you're needing to free yourself this has to do with attorney marriage and this is about a destiny here, about freeing yourself from all of these things here, this the shadiness here. There is divine guidance here and balance coming in. What is the shady ass behavior, please? About expressing your love and maybe you're hiding that from somebody. There's sorrow here heart-to-heart -heart conversations yeah this has to do with the five of cups and deception and no longer waiting here and it might be that you're no longer waiting to go and have that conversation with this person yeah there's an offer here it's codependency from a childhood friend maybe 
And I feel like that's going to be letting go of this rest and rejuvenating. I feel like you're going to realize that this person is holding you back, this childhood friend that maybe you wanted guidance or got guidance from, where it says, let your friends help you. I feel like maybe they're, it's not for your best interest here. Sometimes friends are jealous of who you're going towards or they want what you have. Yeah, flirt. Somebody that you walked away from, something sudden is going to happen here and you're feeling like a wounded warrior because of somebody that was in your energy that was codependent to you, holding you back possibly here. Yeah, there's some type of love begins and that might be a fairy tale for you to think that this person that you're codependent with is going to change and love beginning, but it's in the reverse. This is somebody that's wearing a mask. This might be a past life relationship. Somebody that you were once married to, but there's unrequited love and deception here. Somebody, maybe you're wanting to reconcile with this person. Maybe you trust this person. Maybe you feel like they're your true love and there's something different here for you and you're needing to free yourself from this person in order to express your love to your true person. Have that heart to heart conversation, okay? Because somebody is wearing a mask and this is somebody from your past. And I feel like this is somebody that's close to you. This is not somebody that is... Um, they're at a distance, I'm feeling. This person that you're meant to be destined for here on this destiny. This is somebody who's very observant, mysterious. You're remembering this person. They're very traditional. You're unhappy and want to free yourself to get on your destiny. Let's see, what do we have for the card sign? Need up, please. It's the retreat here. Go with the flow and surrender. So it's time to let something go here and just be in the now and just live your life. Hmm. Yeah, secret admirer. So I feel like somebody does desire you or you are the one that desires this person. It might be somebody you are secretly in love with and you admire them. That may be why you want to reconcile with them. Um, maybe clear things up. Maybe you had a disagreement. Mm. Deep bond with an on and off relationship only restricts and harms your growth. And that's the reconciliation to, I feel like that past person maybe that you went to for advice. And I feel like there's someone that you're meant to be with maybe told you about this person or something that was going to happen. I am so in love with you. Love your soulmate. So this is from your soulmate to trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. This is something you're um, lost hope in. But there's a transformation here. And you might feel lonely right now, but things are going to unblock for you with this base chakra that's blocked. And never judge a book by its cover. So you may have always um, looked at people in a certain way. Yeah, you're, you've called in your soulmate or somebody's called you in. And it's a higher level of commitment here. A true love. Be authentic. Be you. Take off the mask. So it's possible you're not being the one being authentic here. Yeah, you're not seeing the big picture when it comes to something here. What is that? Yeah, in order to get that abundance, you have to tell the truth, or somebody needs to tell you a truth, or you both have to be truthful here. Let's give the relationship a chance here. You were my blessing, my wish for love, and I chose wrong. And I feel like that is somebody, because mm, you're not considering the path you're on right now. And I feel like that might be the wrong path. Yeah, there's deception in here. Go buy that lotto ticket today. Maybe a good, a good luck day. So 
I feel like you're gonna go buy a ticket. <laughs> so there might you might win the lottery, and that's where this deception and bad judgment comes in here. Yeah, it has to do with finances, money, income, and recognition and reward. You might hide this from the people, your family, because you may realize that there's some type of deception if you tell them, or when you tell them, there may be something that you see here, this unrequited love. You can see beyond the veil. So you're gonna see their hidden intentions here. Yeah, a dark secret. Maybe somebody's, yeah, good, yeah, vibrant, abundant life, leisure, good health, balance, wishes are coming true. And this has to do with a relationship, unrequited love, but you're seeing beyond that veil. Keep an open mind. True love is coming. Romance romantic feelings and this is where you have your boundaries up this is that storm coming in with authority this might be this might be spirit you were seen as a screw up of the family but now you're on top and i feel like oh yeah let your friends help you and this may be somebody you work with is going to Hmm, this might be this Queen of Pentacles that's in the reverse, a karmic that maybe you worked with, maybe who you thought had solutions to something that's keeping you from changing or moving forward here when it says, let your friends help you. And there's a third party. Maybe you're having a relationship at work. <clears throat> pregnant you or someone else a third party here is going to be pregnant or say they are what is this playfulness temptation and giving the cup to the wrong person here <clears throat> if you're single step out and let yourself shine and i feel like you may be going through this um divorce here may have given your cup to the wrong person you're looking for somebody that's playful maybe this person you wanted to recapture some type of romance and youthful thing from them maybe this is somebody you married when you were younger and it says if you're a single step out and shine and that could be your person <clears throat> and that's where you're going to maybe run into them or you want to run into them this is the one you secretly admire Mm, this is someone that's maybe shining, okay? Someone else is keeping you away from me. And this is that person that's holding you back, that's going to tell you that they're pregnant, or a third party is going to tell you that they're pregnant. I don't feel like it's your person, though. It's almost like I'm talking to a divine masculine. There is some... <clears throat> religious factors, a new passionate beginning that you're wanting, a union, um, but there is that uh, mask or concealing event. And this is something you're not empathizing with anymore or you feel like the person you're meant to be with isn't uh, giving you empathy. Um, it says, I want to talk to you, please. So you might be unable to get a hold of your person you're meant to be with. You may know who this is. This is a past life relationship. So you may know who this is and they may not. You're so sexy, I dream naughty dreams about you. <laughs> and this is about, um, let's see, free yourself. What they told you is an illusion to get you in bed and I feel like that may be how they are trying to keep you they may see you as traditional and maybe telling you memories or oh you remember when we talked about this or that or blah 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 um your destiny is to free yourself up because whoever you're around right now this third party um that may say they're pregnant 
This is an illusion just to get you in bed. <clears throat> what does this express your love here, please? This is about speaking your truth. My throat chakra is blocked. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, it says break the cycle. Let go of the past. Okay? So heart 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 to heart conversations. Yeah, it says choices of commitment has sacrifices. So you may be needing to compromise on something. You're sad about this deception and you're no longer waiting. Let's see. Yeah, this person from your childhood here that you were married, maybe married to, that you gave an offer to, now that you're resting and realizing they're codependent here. Yeah, one of your friends is lying because they want what you have or they don't want you to get what you have or supposed to have, okay? Love begins in reverse here. And we had the fairy tale, we have the wounded warrior, the tower with the sudden epiphany or a sudden unexpected change. You may have felt like you were um, bored because you've been um, doing your healing um, or that you missed an opportunity here. It says, Let, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Knowledge is the key. Pay attention to those around you. And I feel like that is what is going on here. You're going to realize this person is lying to you, your friend. Let's see, can I get one more for knowledge is key and pay attention to those around you? Ooh, okay, I got a couple here. You will run into an old friend you haven't seen for a long time. Or a person maybe you just met. Um... Maybe you haven't seen them for like months or even close to a year. It says, don't limit your challenge. Challenge your limits. So you may be limiting yourself or feeling like, no, nah, it's never going to happen. I can't find this person. And it says, come out of the darkness into the light. So that is getting rid of people around you that have negative energies uh, that keep trying to decide your fate or trying to tell you what you need to be doing all the time it's time to take <laughs> it's time to take charge of yourself and it says magnetize yourself and i feel like that by magnetizing yourself is when you're going to have that energy and whoever is matching your energy you're going to have that pull towards one another you're going to end up running into each other and if you are the secret admirer of this person, you're going to find a way to try to run into them and have that meeting of uh, reunion, of seeing each other again. Um, there may have been something there between the two of you, but it was very, I feel like very brief. There wasn't, it wasn't for very long, or maybe you only met them once or twice, seen them around. Maybe you saw them on their social media because social media did come up. They may have their own channel. So in any case, um, this is what I have for you, Cancer. So please like, share, and subscribe. This one went on way too long. <laughs> I might have to cut some of these cards out for the next reading because, wow, it was very detailed, though, about what is coming, what you're needing to do, and how you're going to get to the next part, and that is meeting your person. And this is so awesome because now things are really starting to progress. I feel like this year is your year, Cancer. So, and for a lot of other um, zodiac signs. So, anyhow, stay blessed and we'll see you next time. Later.